Hello students. Hi, how are you? I hope you are doing good. So in this part, we will be discussing about the introduction of your alcohols, phenols and ethers. So in the introduction, I will be discussing what exactly is alcohol, what is a monohydric alcohol, what is a dihydric alcohol and what is a trihydric alcohol. Not only that, we will be discussing about your nomenclature of your alcohols, phenols and ethers. So why to waste our time? Let's start with this part. Introduction. So, in introduction, uh, first let's understand what is an alcohol, what is a phenol and ether. So, alcohols, generally you may find alcohols, I, I think uh, everyone knows about ethyl alcohol, right? It is a famous reactant in your wine. For example, wine is nothing but an alcohol, right? So, you can see here, alcohols are present in these images of wine. Next phenol. So phenol is also very important pharmaceutical reagent and uh, phenols are also generally used for the purpose of uh, your uh, uh, cleansing and uh, ethers. Ethers can also be considered as one of the important uh, uh, medicine and it is used for generally a uh, treatment for your cancer. So what is alcohol? Alcohols are nothing but alcohols are nothing but the organic compounds uh, containing your functional group OH. Alcohols are nothing but organic any organic compound which contains your hydroxyl functional group. So I can say that OH is nothing but a hydroxyl functional group. So it is a one of the important functional group just like your aldehyde, just like your ketone, just like your carboxylic acid, right. So hydroxyl functional group is also one of the important functional group. So if you have an alkyl group, if you have an alkyl group and if it is attached, it is being attached by a hydroxyl group, then it is called an alcohol. So how can I classify an alcohol? Classification of alcohols is based on the number of OH based on hybridization of carbon. So I can classify a given alcohol based on the number of OH and not only that based on the hybridization of carbon. For example, based on the number of alcohols, I can say that a given organic compound is a monohydric, a given organic compound is a dihydric and given organic compound is a trihydric. So mono means what? One. Di means two. Tri means three. So monohydric implies that there is one alcohol. Dihydric implies that there are two alcoholic groups. And trihydric implies that there are three alcoholic groups. And based on the hybridization of carbon, right? So there can be alcohols containing sp3 OH bond and there can be alcohols containing your carbon sp2 OH bond. What is this? Here carbon is having an sp3 hybridization, here my carbon is having an sp2 hybridization. So based on that I can classify my alcohols. So each of this can be further classified into primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. So primary, tertiary, primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols are nothing but if a given organic compound consists of for example this is your carbon chain. If my alcohol is present in first carbon, it is a primary alcohol. And if the alcohol is present on the carbon 3, it is a secondary alcohol. So primary alcohol is nothing but it is attached in the beginning generally. And the secondary alcohol, it is nothing but a carbon with two other carbons. Here primary alcohol is nothing but a carbon with one carbon. And tertiary alcohol is nothing but a carbon with three carbon atoms and you have an alcohol. So this is nothing but this is a tertiary alcohol. 